So Kyle, firstly, a um, bit of a strange Christmas with, with the Bolton game being off. Yeah, it's happened uh, two years in a row to me now. Um, you know, for me, it's no, it's not a Boxing Day without football, and you know, it's sorely missed. And I think this, the supporters will say the same. Um, but hopefully we can get back to it and there's two massive games coming up so hopefully we can go into them uh, full of confidence now. As a player, is it hard to get your head around the fact that a game could be called off you know, right at the last minute? Yeah, I suppose so. But like, like I said, it's just being professional and doing the right things. We've trained every day, so we've come in, we've worked hard like, 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 like we do every day. Uh, and now it's, uh, now it's crunch time now. You know, these are two very important games for us. Hopefully we can be on the right end of the results. You've had to change your routine a little bit, the manager was saying, obviously because of the Bolton game being off. Yeah, obviously we, we do to come in Christmas Day. We had, we had it off instead, but we were in Christmas Eve. So, but it's, it's, it's all a muchness. Um, we, you know, we, uh, we, we put in the hard work on the training ground. We're fully prepared. We know what's going to come our way. And hopefully, like I said, we can uh, be on the right end of the result come, come tomorrow night. It's tough for the players, but also for the fans. We've seen lots of really last-minute cancellations and postponements, haven't we? Like Blackburn at Hull the other day. It's tough being a fan, isn't it, when you don't know whether a game's going to be on or off? Yeah, I feel for them because obviously most of them make travel arrangements. Away teams tend to, you know, set off the night before. So, you know, I, I feel for them. Hopefully, we can, you know, we can get through this as quickly as possible, and we can just get back to a normal routine for them, because they pay their hard-earned money to come, you know, come watch us and come watch other teams every week. So, like I said, hopefully, you know, this is just um, just a small a wave of COVID, and we can get over it and get back to normality as soon as possible. This crew game is huge, though, isn't it? Yeah, there's no, there's no beating about the bush. Um, you know, we're playing two teams directly below us the next two games, so obviously we need maximum points if possible, if not at least minimum four. Um, but like I said, you know, we concentrate on what we can do. We know what we know what crew can do. We're fully prepared on crew, and uh, like I said, it's, it's it's down to us to put on the performance now. Six points would be a huge difference, wouldn't it, in terms of where you are in relation to the other teams around there? Yeah, it would be massive. Uh, every point's uh, critical now from now to the end of the season. Um, these are the games that, that will keep you in the division, not so much the Sunderland games or etc. Um, teams against the, uh, in or around you in the table will, will mean a lot come the, end of, come the end of April. Does it puzzle you how the, the really good start to the season sort of faded away to this point? Um, not in particular. It's, uh, I find that League One football, you find the top end teams are very strong, and the rest is you can throw a blanket over it. Uh, anybody can beat anybody on the given day as well. So, as we've proved this season, especially here at the Mazuma, um, and we'll go into it full of confidence at home. When you look back on 2021, it's been quite a year, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been surreal to be honest. Um, from when I started it to where I finished it was, um, you know, was uh, probably one of the first in my careers. But you know, it's one that I'll probably look back on with you know, one of the most fondest memories. Also, it's just remind us how it started before you came here. Yeah, um, I started. I started off with COVID. I had COVID. Um, I knew about Morecambe. Signed for Morecambe in the January. Obviously, we ended up getting promoted through Wembley in the playoffs, uh, which everyone's aware of. And now I find myself um, in league, you know, in League One. Uh, you know, for, for fighting for a you know, at the at the present minute uh, a bit of a relegation scrap. But you know, like I said, I've loved every minute of it since I've been here. You know, I've loved playing in front of all, you know, all these Morecambe fans at the Mazuma, and long may it continue. What's your main memory of Wembley? <laughs> I think I might. <laughs> well, I know, I know I know what gets remembered. It's not my main memory, but I know what I know what everyone comes to me the first thing they they says. Um, but yeah, it was just you know just a surreal day, you know, to keep a clean sheet at, at Wembley for 120 minutes was uh, something you can go on and tell the grandkids later on in life. So the idea, I guess, is to make 2022 as memorable as 2021. Yeah, I think you know, personally, I think it'd be a, a bigger achievement staying in this division than getting promoted out of uh, out of League Two, especially for a club like Morecambe. Um, there's no beating around the bush with that. Um, but like I said, you know, we've, uh, we've got a squad that believe we can do it and, uh, and hopefully we can do it.